and appearing tonight on Peter Bull, Molly Sugden, Bill Tidy, Gillis Watling, Paul Daniels, Alexander Bastido, and here's your host on Terry Wogan. Right, lights on as soon as you think you have it. Okay, Bill's got his light up. Ah, oh, smart. Molly, Peter, Paul, Dillis. My wife said, and this is the way my wife talks, I think my new vacuum cleaner is too powerful. <laughs> when I opened up the bank to clean it, I got the surprise of my life. The blank was inside. Carpet. The carpet was inside. Ruth, keen thinking. Molly sucked him. Everywhere. <laughs> well, Tell had me, just, been... just a bit, are you free? <laughs> no, but I'm not very expensive. <laughs> 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 no, no, had it been Mrs. Slocum, she would have said, my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> And I put the hearth rug. The hearth rug? Is that the carpet? Yeah. One to Ruth. Have you heard about the new car for practical jokers? Instead of seats, the car has blanks. Trap doors? Trap doors. Oh. oh. <laughs> Trap doors. Like we scar the country for them, you know. <laughs> Peter Bull. Well, I just simply thought they might have beds, but then uh -huh. Theodore said that they would have water beds. I think you, I think you ought to do something about Theodore. You think all wrong? <laughs> well, with him being a practical joker, you know all those things. I thought it might be whoopee cushions. Ah, you see, that's not bad. Whoopee cushions, trap doors, however, is what we're looking for. Not at all, Ma. The accountant. I'm getting a bit worried about him. He just hired a blank to balance my books. Molly, Peter, Dillis, you ready? Oh, yes. Sorry, okay. Sick, balance is the operative word there. Yeah. A tightrope walker. A tightrope walker. Smash an answer. Well done, George. That's good. I thought good. it might be a juggler. Juggler. You see, you had the, you had the old um, circus motif going, but unfortunately it's a... I'm very sorry. A tightrope walker. Not at all, Peter. Oh, no. Well, the circus motif went on with me because I put a seal. Yes. <laughs> you see, it would. George, George. Keep going. Dillis. A scale. A scale. How pathetic. Sorry, George. <laughs> That's one woman not bothered by the circus motif. <laughs> Paul. It has just occurred to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, wonderful. <laughs> that if he's Peter and I'm Paul, that makes you merry. <laughs> We've arrived at Supermatch, which, as you should know by now, Ruth. is we go to... Ruth! <laughs> Ruth, I'll find one. Don't worry, Ruth. <laughs> Let's see what you have to do to win these, some of these prizes. Let's pull back that first screen. It's three blank. Now, it can be a couple of words as well as one. You know, it needn't be just three something. It can be three something, 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 or, or whatever. Now, who would you like to help you? Molly. Molly, Molly Sugden, three... Blind mice. Yes, I would have said that, three blind mice. Who else? Dillis. Dillis what thing? Um, three of a kind. Three of a kind. And... Alexandra. Alexandra. Three penny piece. Three penny piece, yes. Good. Okay. They're all wrong. Up with. That's his maybe. That's his maybe. What a load of rubbish. That poor lass is standing there with being clutched to you. And then <laughs> given a choice like that's disgusting. Luckily, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> now look. May the Lord forgive you. <laughs> and cause his fit. Would you not tell fibs like that when you're standing so close? Because the Lord is now pretty old. If he suddenly sent down a thunder flash, he might just miss you and hit me. <laughs> and I don't want to die because of your lies. If I go, you're coming with me. <laughs> All right. Do you accept any of their advice or not? Yes. I'll give it to you again. Molly said three blind mice. Tilla said three of a kind. Alexandra said three penny piece. What do you think? Three blind mice. Three blind mice. I think I'd be inclined to agree with you. We'll see. For 50 blanks, then, let's see. Three bears. Uh, for 100 blanks. Three little pigs. Oh. Oh. Nurse. 
the last screen. <laughs> Molly Sutton, she was the one who helped you. you. Well done, Ruth, and you had the good sense to pick it, and you win for 150 blanks a sewing machine. Are you, are you a needlewoman? Well, I will be now. <laughs> Certainly you better be, but you may come back with that 150 blanks and play our head-to-head. -head. We'll see. Thanks, Ruth. Thank Perhaps see you later. <laughs> the lady pickpocket nearly fainted when she picked the pocket of Paul Daniels and produced his blank. <laughs> you just made that up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, light it up as soon as you've got what you think is the answer. Thank you, Peter and Molly and Bill, and Alexandra and Dillis, and Paul, who's writing very slowly. Okay, Paul. All right. Here we go, then. It's you, then. Monica. The lady pickpocket nearly fainted. What would she produce? His magic wand? His magic She's wand. For his magic wand. And I'm afraid I put his rabbit. His rabbit. You see, you would. Steve Austin, who's so like me in so many ways. <laughs> got a tin leg. <laughs> Steve Austin, the bionic man, doesn't know his own strength. He rescued a lady from drowning, and when he gave her mouth to mouth resuscitation, he blew her blanks off. <laughs> Bill, Molly, you ready? Thanks, love. Peter, and Dillis. Okay. Alfred, I shall turn to you in hope and say, Steve Austin doesn't know his own strength. Took her out of the sea, mouth to mouth. Blew her. Ears off. Ears off. <laughs> yes! Very good, Alfred. Very good. Blew her ears off. Molly Sugden. Blew her. I was going to say water wings, but I thought, well, that's too long to write. So, I put ear. Yeah. <laughs> you heard a Mountie always gets his man. Well, did you hear about the terribly <laughs> overweight Mountie who always got his blank? Later on, Bill Tidy's going to tell everybody where he got that jacket. Molly. And then we can all avoid the place. <laughs> Bill, Peter and Alexandra and Molly. He couldn't actually afford cash for it. He paid cheques, if you look at it. Oh. These are the okay. Old. We're moving right along here. Monica, you haven't been lucky. This is a difficult one, too. You heard the Mounty always gets his man. The terribly overweight Mounty who always got his... Man Mountain? His Man Mountain! Oh! oh. <laughs> the keen brain of Monica there. I, I wonder if, if our celebrities are up to it. Mine, I just put flat feet. <laughs> Bigfoot, maybe. Bill. Well, uh, there wasn't much of a clue, and I, I was stuck with scales. 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 Would, would you buy that one? No. Thank you, Samantha. Blank hours. Golden hours. Golden hours. Sh Molly. Shining. Shining hours. You see, it's the, it's the theatrical training. You prove it. Paul Daniels. That wouldn't have been my choice, but still. <laughs> and might I say I'm very grateful for that fact, sir? <laughs> After. After hours. <laughs> After hours. Okay. Now, you can, to help you in this endeavor, turn to any of these people here and pick one of them. Molly, please. Molly Sugden is yes. the choice. <laughs> Molly, all attention and ears. I'm going to read out a simple little sentence, blank missing. You think about it, I'll get Molly to write it down. If you match up, you double it. Okay. Keep your eyes closed, Ruth. It's not so bad when you're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom blank. Bottom blank. Don't say anything yet. Bottom blank. Molly. Bottom blank. Ooh. Bottom blank. Got it down, Molly? Yes. Okay, here we go. For this color television. Bottom. Dollar. Bottom oh. dollar. Yeah, yeah, don't turn around. It will cause Molly Sugden to fall in a heap. Molly, 
Bottom dollar. Bottom, bottom line. line. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Ruth. Oh, shame, shame. <laughs> I'll put my arms around you, Ruth, to console you. There, there, little one. I'll buy you a colour telly, love. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.